All right, we struggled like crazy getting this steering linkage off of the old steering box, fought us every step of the way. Then we had to drill this plastic nut out right here. So what'll happen is this will end up being shortened to fit the new, the new uh, steering box right here. And it's got a flat edge and it just mates up right there on this collar and this collar tightens up against it. So, so uh, the old pump is out. So, so a lot of the old stuff is out. That thing fought us like crazy. And you can see right down there where that was. So you can see we drilled that out and then we had to actually bang it out very carefully. And that's where the new steering box will go right there, exactly where the old one was. And there's our bracketry for our steering pump. And then we've got a nice PSC bracket here over the master cylinder where the reservoir will sit. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us, but uh, so far so good. So, big bore steering box is in place. Uh, next thing we do is got to line up the uh, steering shaft and, and size it and, and make a cut. Uh, and then we still have the uh, power steering pump to put on, the reservoir. We got a lot to do, but, but uh, this was a, 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 big, a big part of the project. And you can see the plug, the lines over there for where the uh, lines for the ram assist would go right there, which, which we're not using now, but so the plugs are on them. Okay, here's the steering link linkage in my hand, and uh, we, we put this in, everything fits nicely, so what's gonna happen is we're gonna be cutting this. We're gonna take about an inch, inch and an eighth off of the end of this, because the big bore steering box is just so much bigger that you have to shorten this uh, steering linkage. So, so far things are fitting together very nicely. Okay, so the new PSC uh, power steering pump is mounted. We're just uh, doing a little bit of lining up how best to run the hoses. We're gonna relocate the cooler to the passenger side of the Jeep. Right now you can see it in the grill there on the driver's side. We're gonna, we're gonna move it over to the left so there's more of a natural flow of the hoses in and out. So from the, from the steering box, it, you can see that little red cap, it goes up in there. We're gonna slide it that way to the passenger side. Then it comes back out the top of the cooler, right there, and then it goes into the reservoir. Good look at the cooler. It comes with this bracketry right here, and it gives you a couple options where to locate it. We're going to move it over to the left right over here. So just simply in and out a couple lines. That's beautiful. So there's the... The cooler, we put the uh, put the lines on them. It's basically just a barbed fitting with a hose clamp. And um, we'll leave them long so we can terminate them where they need to go. One's going in the steering box, and the other one's gonna come up to the, to the reservoir up here. All right, the anti-rock is back on, very nice. Nice and level, comes down to the sway bar end link. We're gonna be attaching the, um, the pitman arm. I'm gonna be putting this, whoop, I'm gonna be putting that right back up on the sector shaft right here. Uh, very good, things are, things are going together really nicely. Yes. Okay, look at that, everything is fitting together so nicely. So we got the big wrench, Putting that nut on for the for the pitman arms going right on the sector shaft. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Oh, it's yeah, gorgeous. it's gorgeous. Okay, so what we did is we started the uh, the high pressure line. 
on the left and the low pressure line on the right. Uh, there's special O-rings that you lubricate with power steering fluid that go on there. They're just started. And then it's kind of pre-bent where it comes up right here and it's started right here where it goes into the power, into the power steering pump. Uh, very nice fit, very tight, very precise. And you can see right there how that pre-bent piece just skirts the outside of the steering box. Hmm. All right, so... Uh, maybe... Two. I want you to feel this, because... Okay. Well, the, the, like bottom, the bottom two lines went in really nice. You know, I mean, they, I well, can thread I them by this, hand. I screwed this one in, but like you okay. say, I, I feel like... Yeah, it's just it goes, and all of a sudden, it just, like, stops, stops dead. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, you're compressing that little O-ring, so it, it it's probably the design of the fitting. That's I'm not, it. I'm not particularly familiar with some of these uh, high-pressure right. fittings, but... Right. That's it right there. So there's the... Uh, from the pump... Into the, into the steering box right here. So the, the big line down on the bottom now is gonna to go to the reservoir. So that's the feed from the reservoir into the uh, power steering pump. All right, so here's the reservoir. You got a plug for auxiliary. All three of these fittings are gasketed. So we put the plug in auxiliary. Then we've got the next one in the middle is input. And then the large one is output. Which goes to the pump. Which goes to the pump. All three of these are gasketed and we will tighten them all snug. Okay, there's the Swepco power steering fluid. So we just took these out because we, you know, the directions that we found say you, you take these gaskets and you just wet them with the new uh, power steering fluid. So that's what we're going to do. We're getting a Q-tip and we'll, we'll wet those gaskets and then we'll, we'll put them in where they go. So here's a look inside the, the PSC reservoir. So you get male connectors that thread in, and then the female connectors will be barbed, go into the hoses, and then you'll just tighten them right on those fittings. And, and you got a, uh, a gasket on the top for the cover, and then there'll be a, a vent line as well. So high quality, looks good. Uh, so far, all the pieces are there, and everything's going together nicely. Okay, so you can get a a sense of how this uh, reservoir goes in this beautiful uh, aluminum bracket and then it's got a nice clamp that goes around it and we just need to determine the height. We want it as high as we can without hitting the hood and because you want gravity to kind of flow out of the reservoir into the power steering pump. So yeah, it's all completely adjustable and we'll have to make a, a mark and figure out, take a measurement off of that somehow for the hood. Well, if you come off of here. One thing for sure, it definitely needs to be higher than that because we can get no gravity there. Yeah. Okay, so the pump comes with a, a 90. This would be the uh, power steering fluid into the pump. And it gives you about 18 inches of hose. And then that will come up, curve around nice, come out of the reservoir. And then this smaller line right here is going into the reservoir and coming back from the uh, power steering cooler that's, that's mounted in front of the, uh, the condenser. So um, once again, all the, all the parts are here. Things are fitting in nice. There's a little air vent, little air tubing, a 90 degree connector that goes on top of the cover right here. Um, That'll, that'll hook up to this small airline and we'll curve it along the firewall. Yeah, it's just a little breather or vent. So the radiator's going in next right here. Um, reservoir's done. Power steering pump is done. So she's going back in. All right, so... Oh man, so our, um, our lines are coming out of the reservoir, looking nicely into the pump, high pressure line out of the pump, down to the steering box, out of the steering box, into the cooler. Uh, you can see that the radiator's on, the shroud, then the line comes out of the cooler and back into the reservoir. So um, we gotta tighten up that upper radiator hose clamp right there. Yeah. 
and then, then I think we could actually, and I don't know, if the, is the drain still open to the radiator? I have to close the drain and add our, uh, our antifreeze. Um, and then we'll be, we're going to hook up this airline right here, and then we'll be putting some power steering fluid in and moving the steering back and forth and working out all the air bubbles and adding the uh, power steering fluid as needed. All right, so what we've begun doing is the, uh, the manual calls for 12 quarts of uh, antifreeze slash water, right? What yep. was it, a 50-50 mix? 50-50 yeah. mix. And we are also now pouring uh, hydraulic uh, power steering fluid into the reservoir. I'll explain that after. So, so is it just dropping right in? I mean, is yeah, it just yeah, flowing? It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's coming up, though. The level's coming up. Yeah, so we'll probably have to start moving the steering wheel and undoing the, uh, you got a strap, a ratchet strap or something on the steering wheel. We'll, yeah. start, we'll start rotating it left and right and it'll just keep ta taking quarts of uh, power steering fluid. Um, radiator went back in the shroud very nicely. Um, yeah, see how I did the, okay, some so, type of so you have to, right, right. So your, your, your clock spring or something with, with the, with the linkage spring. disconnected, that thing would spin like crazy and screw up the clock spring, which handles all the electric for your directionals and yep, so forth. Which so it's 150 bucks. Oh this. yeah. It's a big pain in the ass. So, so we use the, uh, seatbelt wrapped it around the steering wheel to hold it in place. But now the linkage has been shortened and hooked up so we can undo this now. Good. Oh yeah. Air bubbles are coming up. I'm up against your, your... Oh yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me move that. Okay. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. A ton of air coming up there. So, so basically Dwayne is turning the wheels manually without the motor running left and right. And you can see the, the level drops in the reservoir and air bubbles pop up through that baffle. Yeah, so it's dropped a couple inches. I just keep going. What's cycling the impeller and the pump and everything else, right? Is that what it is? Well, what's, what's real that? nice, I'm watching the, uh, there's, a, there's a good look down there at the, uh, at the steering linkage that we shortened. And that's, that's looking beautifully. It's turning, turning really nice. Uh, your steering wheel, tie rod, drag link, everything turning nicely. Add a little more. Oh, hell yeah. You took it all. Yeah, I don't even see any liquid now. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, again, just a little bit of information from PSC on some quantities. Uh, they sent four quarts, but we're not running the RAM. Uh, the steering box, those ports are blocked off right now, so... So obviously there'll be less fluid. It doesn't have to fill the ram or the hydraulic lines going to it. But one course she gobbled right up. And it's not running, but happily, even with all the turning, I didn't see uh, nothing leaking, so. Yeah, look at the bubbles just oh, coming yeah. up. It's crazy. Can see it going yeah. down just just there. Okay. So you're just going fully to the left and the right, yep. back and forth. Oh, I can hear it. Crazy the sounds I'm getting out here. Part of the instructions is to turning the wheels left and right 10 to 15 times.
stopper right there. His stoppers are hitting. All right, we took this Jeep for a victory lap, home run. No leaks, turns beautifully. High quality system and uh, quite honestly, I thought it was very user friendly and it was a relatively easy install. Very much enjoyed, uh, enjoyed this project. All right, Recon Jeep are out.